2021 marked a new high for earthquakes in Texas, and experts say human activity is to blame. As 25 News reporter Caleb Chevalier explained, state agencies are now stepping in. 209. That's how many earthquakes magnitude 3 or greater rattled the Lone Star State last year. It's more than double the number in 2020. Most were concentrated in western Texas, and some scientists say fracking is the culprit. In the northern part of the Texas Delaware Basin, last year we had an increase in the magnitude as well. Oil drilling produces a lot of wastewater as a byproduct, and producers typically get rid of that water by shooting it back into the ground. That can slowly increase the pressure on fault lines until something slips. Just because a fracking site is abandoned doesn't mean the earthquakes will stop either. From the time that we start injecting the water into the subsurface till the time we have an earthquake, it, is a, it, it, it might take a, um, a few months to more than a year. The earthquakes became so frequent that the Texas Railroad Commission, the agency that regulates the oil and gas industry in Texas, suspended water injections near Midland and Odessa. Through a network of seismometers, the School of Geosciences at UT Austin is helping the commission by closely monitoring new fault activity. We've actually placed more seismometers in these areas of high seismicity to give, the, give us the best understanding of, of, of what's going on in the subsurface. With new drilling sites popping up and wastewater from those sites on the move, hot seismic zones come and go. It means we're in for an uncertain 2022. We see that the seismist is migrating to nearby areas. So that means that um, it is too difficult to understand where, where things will go for 2022. So far, damage to property and infrastructure in the Permian Basin is minor, but it has still led some homeowners to think about adding earthquake insurance to their policies. In Waco, Caleb Chevalier, 25 News.